welcome part of this bill which uh, sorts out the situation where students cannot be uh, asked for any kind of bingo numbers regarding your deposits. That's been uh, outlawed in this bill and that's the one good thing about it. The rest of it I, I'm worried is futile. I just can't understand less control and I'm like yourself and I admire you anytime you speak uh, you know, from knowledge and experience. We're just futile efforts in this country. We talk and talk and I was on the housing committee for four and a half years and I just felt poor uh, disillusioned with it because we, if we talk we'd build houses we'd build millions of them and definitely I don't know who's on it now and he's a builder of some renown and understands building but the public service I, I'm not really just here to bash public service but they're not fit for purpose in any department I spoke this morning about the um, situation of the, of the maternity hospital gone up from 150 million to 800 million the children's hospital from uh, 400,000 to 2 billion are growing the broadband fiasco every fiasco after the other but uh, definitely don't touch on it Brexit now and the, 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 the problems with importation of materials in the ports they're just whether they're not working or whether they're working from home or whatever but to get something to I had a fellow recently who bought a bailer, sorry for diverging a bit, and he got the bailer in no problem from Germany, and then he needed a path for the bailer to, to, to continue his work in the, in the hay season, uh, a mechanical part of it, and it took him six weeks to get in from England. It's crazy. Black adding that's going on. Black adding, people have been black adding. So, as regards the housing, the cost of building has gone through the roof. The owner told me last night, actually, to build a 2,500 square foot house now is over 400,000. So, I mean, we heard the t shirt earlier, someone said Tarnished, the affordable house in Dublin was 400,000. I mean, this is crazy stuff. How are we going to deal with issues? Deputy Toby touched on it. I, for years, like a bad record talking about using the spaces beneath the shops, the shops that are closed, and above the shops in our towns. You do two things. You create a living town, and you uh, you make an impact on the house list. No. What are we doing? Putting literally billions into HAP. It's dead money. It's, it's down a black hole. Okay, people get roofs over the but it's not solving the situation. For God's sake, last Congola, we built houses in the 40s, in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the noughties, and now we can't build them because we're trying to set up a red tape. Pippa Hackett won't deal with the tree felling licenses for timber. Uh, uh, the min uh, Minister Ryan is adding massive price cost increases to the insulation, and indeed every move the government makes here, regulation. Deputy um, uh, Murphy from Wexford is spot on. The, the, this office of the planning regulator, new office, another quango, another jumped up jack, God forgive me, a powerful man that got into a powerful position and he's destroying uh, areas. The town of Cardinesky and the lovely River Shore and the Care Castle had um, 50 hectares of land uh, zoned. Probably too much, certainly. But now we've done a new plan recently, my own daughter, Council Marnie McGrath, railed against it, and they have these zoned 40 hectares of it. Where are the people going to go? They want, look, I don't blame people for thinking there's conspiracy plans. This is all to head us into the cities and control, 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 control. Because that's what it is. Everything you go, regulation, more regulation, more regulation. And it's adding costs, it's adding inefficiencies, it's adding bureaucracy, and it's adding uh, a, a, a more homeless problems. You can't get the figures for homeless deaths or homeless people or anything else. So the whole thing, and Deputy Murphy's right, directors of services in many councils aren't fit for their job, and they're not up to their job about planning, and they don't understand the planning law, and if the, if the planning regulator says jump, they'll go through the roof. This is nonsense. The democratic right of the elected councillors to make their county development plan, their town plan, is being diminished. Every piece of legislation we bring in here is diminishing the rights of the people. It's diminishing the rights of the elected, duly elected people for the time being, and it's diminishing progress in our country. And we'll be starved with the hunger before we finish this country, because this week we ban fur farming. Next week we ban something else. It'll be, it'll be horse racing eventually. It'll be sheep farming. Where are we going? Or who's going to have a rain check here and say, wake up and smell the coffee. Thank We're going down this morning very fast. Deputy. Gormagos. Gormagos. Deputy Mikey.